I got a bit of setup for this one today, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my humble home. As per usual, uh, cheap, quick. Going to be doing some assemblage of uh, some chicken sandwiches here. You can tell it's a quality restaurant when uh, their uh, tablecloths are made out of tin foil. So I hope you guys are doing great uh, today. As you can see, getting set up here. Uh, I'm going to be uh, dressing up 20 chicken burgers. And we're going to see how long it takes me to take down 20 chicken burgers. We're trying to save a couple of dollars by making our own chicken burgers instead of going and buying some like Wendy's or Chick-fil-A. A lot of people like to think that fast food is really cheap, and it is not. So, I buy most of my food from the grocery store. Oh my gosh. I got too much stuff here already. Yeah, I apologize if I sound a little raspy today. I uh, raced a Spartan race yesterday and it was very hot and dusty and kind of left me a little dehydrated. East distance race, which is 21 kilometers, took me a little over two hours. Um, so yeah, lots of breathing in dusty air, very dry. <laughs> uh, but it did leave me hungry, nice and hungry to eat a lot of chicken sandwiches. So I'm hoping that'll give me a bit of an advantage today. Do that. Based on what I wanted to practice today, uh, I wanted to include some cheese in this challenge since what I'm working towards does have a lot of cheese and dairy in it. So, didn't want to skimp on that. Ah! Jeez. They're pretty fresh out of the oven, so they're a little, a little bit warm right now. Not fresh off the grill. Uh, as usual, not going super uh, fancy on this stuff. Not taking my time to make it the most delicious thing ever, but uh, yeah, you know. Got to get in that practice. Practice those reps to get better. Woo! One last component here is, uh, this is my dipping sauce. You can see, not your typical dipping sauce. Uh, this isn't just water or anything. I'm actually dipping this in gravy. So, <laughs> I am going to be competing at the World Slopper uh, Eating Championship in a couple of weeks. Uh, that's two weeks from uh, the time that I'm recording this, so you guys know kind of like what the time frame actually looks like. Hopefully I actually get this thing edited and published before then, or else this would be uh, kind of strange. All right, so nice and set up. Got my dipping stuff here. Got something to drink over here. Got some paper towels, because it's probably gonna get messy. And uh, yeah, let's see how long it takes me to take down 20 chicken sandwiches. Boom. Wish me luck. Cheers. Mm. Already off to a terrible start. Let's make a little room. I get this gravy in front of me. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, gravy here. <clears throat> Again, nothing special, just store-bought gravy mix mixed with water, oh yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to the latest video, guys. Thank you for joining me once again. And yeah, this is in preparation for the World Slopper Eating Contest, which is on August 27th in Pueblo, Colorado. So I'll be coming back this year, this will be my second time uh, going for the Slopper Eating Championship. And I'm hoping to do pretty well this year. As you might be able to guess by the name Swapper, uh, these things are messy. <laughs> They're really messy. Yeah, this contest can get pretty dang messy. Uh, now, usually when you eat a Slopper, you don't like dip the burgers in uh, a gravy like this, but they come in a little boat, all just slathered with gravy on top. So I expect most people would eat them with a uh, knife and fork. But no, no chance. In an eating contest, you just go right in. It's super messy. Oh my goodness. 
This is a little bit warm. <laughs> Fresh cooked uh, uh, chicken patties and really hot gravy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be gonna be spitzing a little bit. Gonna be sweating a little bit on this one. Yeah, it was like 80 degrees when I shot this, so it was extremely warm, especially with those lights. And I actually don't think that uh, I was just dehydrated. I think I might have actually gotten sick in that Spartan race. So, definitely not uh, feeling 100% uh, on the day that I recorded this. But you know, sometimes it happens. You just uh, try to roll with the punches. Not nearly enough to drink. I'm gonna have to get something in a second. Definitely not uh, contest conditions while I'm doing this practice. You know, when I do these practices, I just try to do my best to uh, eat a lot of this food to make sure I know what it feels like. Yeah, this is a mistake. I'm gonna have to get more liquid. I was hoping that uh, dunking in the gravy would be enough to like, uh, you know, get this stuff nice and soft so it goes down easy, but yeah, I absolutely need to get something else to drink. I'll I'm gonna step off camera for just a moment. We'll pause the timer. Hopefully that'll be enough to get me through the rest of this. I'll put this off camera, so uh, yeah. Got not to see it. I'll have to look at footage to see exactly how long that was. Felt like I was off camera for about, uh, I don't know, a minute and a half, two minutes, something like that. Add it to my time, or don't. Lesson learned, I'll do better next time. Anyway, back to it. Let's eat some friggin' burgers. Yeah, I hope I do better next time, because next time is going to be at the contest. I don't think I'm going to have to have time to uh, do any more practice rounds. So, this is basically it. These things are really not going down as easy as I was expecting. It might be that for some reason this gravy mix is kind of thick. Like, yeah, I was expecting it to be a little bit thinner, but maybe they have some thickeners in it or something. So, it's not, it's not really soaking up the bread quite as much as uh, I was expecting it to, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I just need to uh, suck it up and stop complaining, start eating. Now one difference here is that uh, I'm eating chicken burgers and uh, they have beef burgers uh, at the Slopper Eating uh, Championship. I just kind of didn't want to fill up on beef, to be honest, just trying to deprive my body of that. Oh gosh, about two thirds of the way done. Oh, ah, definitely starting to feel it. Let's see if I can't power through the rest of these. <clears throat> and camera two is shut down, so <laughs> hopefully my main camera sticks in there. Come on, buddy, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, I usually have two cameras going. Uh, mainly as a backup in case there's a problem with uh, recording audio on one of my cameras. But it was too hot, so I think my second camera just overheated. Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness. Five more, come on. I can do this. Oh my gosh. You guys know I'm not good at eating a lot of meat and I'm not good at eating a lot of salt. <laughs> This is a lot of meat and it's a lot of salt. Mm. If I do any more practices after this, I'll probably get some like veggie burgers or something. <laughs> do some Beyond Meat burgers, oh yeah. Yeah, like I said, just trying to deprive my uh, body of some of those nutrients to uh, make sure that I don't know, it just kind of like makes it easier to eat a ton of beef if you haven't eaten beef in a while. So that's kind of what I'm uh, thinking going into this by practicing with chicken burgers instead of beef burgers. Uh, let's do the Randy Santel kneel. Uh, kneel in front of my food. Come on. Yeah, again, in contest, you're always standing. Uh, I, I usually sit just out of comfort, and um, I, don't, I don't know, it, it does help to stand, kind of uh, stretches out the torso to give you a little bit more room, but sitting just makes it a little bit more difficult. And when I'm practicing, it's always about like making sure it's not ideal conditions, you know, because it's not going to be ideal in contest. So yeah, I'm just making it a little bit hard on myself.
Oh my god, this is the point at which I really start to question myself. I seriously. <laughs> All right, eating one chicken burger is not, not too terrible, but eating your 20th chicken burger. <laughs> oh, that, that freed up some space. Oh, it felt so good. Okay. Well, here we go, lessons learned. <laughs> Definitely not a competition kind of environment, but uh, good practice. Good reminder of what it's like to eat. Try to eat 20 sloppers. <laughs> Alright guys, until next time, I hope you guys have a good one. Take it easy.